My name's Aaron Croman. I'm here to teach you about Photoshop, and I'm going to show you how to make yourself invisible. So here we have a picture of a handsome fellow, and so we're going to make him invisible. Uh, the easy way to do this is to take uh, another picture. Uh, we have one that looks from the same exact angle and everything. But it, you can actually put any other type of picture, just as long as you have uh, something to cut someone off of, out of it. And uh, to do this, we're going to cut them out using, over here, the magnetic lasso tool. It's a handy little tool. I'm going to zoom in a little. And what it does is it kind of traces the lines. It doesn't have to be perfectly close, but you can make a selection right around where you want to. Now, now see it's kind of going all over the place and wherever you put it. So if you want to kind of uh, stop it from doing that, you hit uh, delete or backspace on PC and try and get close to where you were last, otherwise it retracts. And then you get back on track. And just get as close as possible. And I'm going to go down a little bit lower. Oh boy. So delete, 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 delete. Or backspace if you're in PC. And then go. Whoop. Go under. Come on, a little bit more. There we go. And it doesn't have to be perfect. See, uh, we just went over the li line a bit, and it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. You can deal with that stuff a little bit later. And I'll even move for you. And then where you get that little zero, that little uh, O, you click it on there, and it will close up the selection. And there we go. Everybody makes mistakes, so remember, Control-Alt-Z or Command-Option-Z, if you're using a Mac, to undo. So now we can just kind of uh, copy it with uh, Command-C or Control-C, or just go up to Edit. And I'm going to minimize this into this new one, and I'm going to hit Paste. Now this is a good way to uh, this is a good way to put somebody into a different scene, so you can uh, cut them out of one place and put them into another. So I'm going to kind of clean this up a little. Use the soft eraser. We're going to just kind of erase these areas. Doesn't have to be too perfect, just enough to get the general stuff out of there. You don't want to try and erase parts that you don't want to erase. Just going to kind of thin the parts you don't want. So now that we have that taken care of, we're going to apply a few effects to that handsome gentleman. Can make the hue and saturation a little different, maybe make them look a little, a little bluish. Yeah, that should be okay. Then knock down the opacity a bit, Ooh. and make it multiply. So now you just kind of see an outline, just kind of like the lights curving around them, and I just kind of show you how it looks uh, with the. Uh, different effects. I'll bring this back on. So this is with the hue and saturation. This is knocking down the opacity and this is making it multiply a little. So it just kind of leaves an outline but you can still see very little bit of definition here and there. And if you want a little bit more you can just make it a little bit more or even just no opacity so all the whites come out or no, mul mul no multiply, so the, or don't use multiply so the, the whites come out. My name's Aaron Croman, and good luck with Photoshop.